Welcome back to Lewis Family Farms and this, um, today we have the, about three rows here that um, uh, it, its space is empty and the, 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 the drip lines are already um, installed and straightened. Um, uh, there is nothing growing there so um, we are, are going to be putting in some cucumbers as a matter of fact I've already started putting in the cucumbers um, here. Um, in those two rows, the two rows at the top. So um, I'm putting in the third one now, and we're just uh, drop drop seeding. Is that that is that the term? We're plant, planting the seeds directly into the ground. Uh, this is the land um, or the spot on which we had planted um, Scotch bonnet peppers last year. All right, we haven't planted a lot of Scotch bonnet this year, and so we have. Um, much of the space here just laying um not really planting a lot but uh we just yeah space is here so we're just using it up um we're going the world is going through a food crisis now and um not saying that this can alleviate the world's food crisis but um as the cost of food and, and especially farm produce um, increases this means that it will not be so burdensome on um, on our pocket and we will not have to be sacrificing food for something else like to pay other bills probably electricity or water all right so the money that we would be using to purchase um, certain food items um, that can be saved or channeled um, into something else that is as important as food or almost as important as food all right and it's pretty easy as you can see all we're doing is just opening a little hole and um, we're actually planting three seeds in each hole and um, I'm estimating for these three short rows um, three in each hole that's we're actually planting about 200 cucumber seeds now I am sure when these seeds germinate and actually start producing we will not be able to eat off all of this so right there you see the potential of um, not only saving um, from the kitchen uh, but actually uh, probably not a lot of money but um, you know, just making a little something a little something from it all right as I say it's pretty easy put them in and allow nature to do the rest all right so there we have probably about i don't know probably about five or six more um holes to plant soil is not very very soft because this was only um forked manually once but um as you can see it's pretty soft enough to give us a fairly good yield don't want to step on the cantaloupes right. i know that um this kind of farming using machete and fork is a bit out of style out of touch with modern modern technology but here in the developing countries it's very difficult to um, actually acquire the, the modern um, technology and equipment to use on um, small scale farming so um, so we still use our machete we still use our hoe we still use our fork yeah to plant our food uh, this took me about half an hour and if we were using machines it probably would take about 
about five minutes or less but um we still got the food to eat and um you know it still gives us a bit of exercise on the farm all right so so that's the last one or the last set of seeds that we will be planting all right so those are our three rows of um, cucumber and um, today is what today is the 19th and yeah the 19th of July 2022 uh, so let us see how these turn out all right and as usual we'll be keeping you up to date all right so I, I'm not sure if you remember our our row of cantaloupe they are doing really really wonderful and so actually they are fruiting now so this is it's a nice a nice one still pretty young but that's a nice cantaloupe um, that's another one and there's another one right there 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 so just right here at this little spot we have one two three four um five six six cantaloupes and um they're doing pretty decent all along the row see another one right there right in the trench that one decided that it wanted to actually produce in the trench bear in the trench there you go again cantaloupes uh cantaloupes cantaloupe cantaloupes cantaloupes yeah all right so all along the rows the cantaloupes doing pretty decent pretty well not bad at all i didn't really expect this actually um these seeds were actually um extracted from um fruits that were bought at the supermarket and so that's the reason we had planted only this small amount that's that's actually the seeds that we got from from the cantaloupes that we had bought and so this is the second section of um watermelons that we had planted for this season the first section is actually out you can still see some little ones there all right but this is the second section it's not doing as good as we would have hoped but we will still be able to eat uh, watermelons from this section they seem seem as if they're going to be pretty small they're going to be pretty small but um the trees are producing which i think is is key once they're producing we will have food to eat and that is the key all right so the first set see this is not this set doesn't seem as if it will do as decent as the first um set of watermelons we had some rains that really damaged the, the vines and brought on a, a fungus that we were not able to properly manage but um we're holding on watermelons nevertheless and um we give thanks what we'll have to do is um try again and see how well we are able to um, bring in another good crop of watermelons so the, the trees the vines are actually producing however the quality of the watermelons though that's in doubt all right but that's the second watermelon section of watermelons for our for this season and um yeah as i said we most definitely will have watermelons um to eat and share and sell all right because 
that's one of the reasons why we do this to help to pay the bills so we are now at um, that section of the farm that um, holds our corns and our pumpkins they're not looking too bad we had um having having some challenges with the with the worms that was expected we have tried to treat them a bit but um uh the worms are are are, are a great challenge um yeah we should be coming through with another um set of chemicals for the worms but um in terms of chemicals that's basically uh, um what we use um to try and control the worms uh not doing too bad but um as you can see they're having a ball we try not to use a lot of chemicals we will be eating these corns and um you know we don't want to give to put too much chemicals on them we like when people actually are able to taste and eat our, our our crops with confidence the pumpkins are running all over the place uh, we haven't seen the first blossom as yet but these pumpkins are still pretty young still pretty young and um, looking they're looking well all right so as you can see the worms yeah worms are giving the corns a warm time but um i am sure um all being well god's willing we'll still be able to eat food from our corns all right so there you go yeah they they're not looking bad at all yeah look at the, the size of the the trunks they're looking good these seem as if they will hold on to, or produce some good size ears of corn yeah so that's what it looks like from this section it's pretty clean and um, you know not looking too bad so what we're really looking on is pumpkin pumpkins and corns all right and so we waiting and hoping for the best all right so uh, that's it so we're gonna leave you now on our corns until next time blessed love from us here at lewis family farms